Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to this video, PFSense on Hyper-V Home Lab. As many of you know that PFSense is a free BSD-based open source firewall router and it can do many other things like VPNs, virtual LANs, wireless access points and much more is possible with PFSense. At home, having a separate test network for an IT tech is a must. A lot can be done with the help of testing environment and can um, be learned with the help of that so one can learn and teach themselves industry standard skills which are highly valuable we are going to have a look at how it can be done so we have like two scenarios the first scenario where one would like to create their own virtual network environment in which they just would like to do the testing only in the virtual environment so one network card can do the trick for them however when I talk about network card I'm talking about the physical network card of a computer so scenario two is where one would like to create a network where they would like to test their virtual machines. Apart from that, they would like to connect physical devices like computers, servers within their test network. So they need two network adapters for that. So there are more requirements for that. So this video is focused on scenario two where one can create their test environment and they can connect the physical devices within the test environment. Okay, so let's have a look at the requirements for this. For this one, you need two physical network cards available on the guest machine where you would like to install PFSense as a virtual machine on Hyper-V. And also you need a one physical switch which is connected to a power source. And because you would like to connect physical devices, then you need few ethernet cables for connectivity as well. Okay, so I have created um, um, one diagram for you guys. So let's have a look and I will go through this diagram now. All right, let's have a look onto the network that we would like to create. So, for example, here you have that computer or a server where Hyper-V is installed. On that server, you need two network adapters. These network adapters has to be physical network adapters, okay? And then other one, we're gonna create internal network adapter within Hyper-V. Okay, so connect one of your network adapter with your house modem where you have internet connectivity so that we can get internet connectivity on PFSense as well. Alright, so you need a switch as well, which has to be connected to your second physical network adapter. Alright, so connect these things via, of course, Ethernet cables and um, and then create uh, one of the external network adapter on Hyper-V and then create, it will get IP address from DHCP server. I create another one, external 03, give it an IP address of 192.168.10.1 and um, you can pick your own IP range. So just for this scenario, I'm picking these IP addresses. And um, then create an internal network adapter, give it an IP address. So in my case, I'm giving it 192.168.40.1, um, keeping um, subnet masks forward slash 24. All right, so of course, on this Hyper-V, we would like to install PFSense. And um, so in settings, when you create PFSense in settings, add hardware. So let's have a look which hardware we will add. All right, so go to settings of your PFSense and then um, in here, as you can see, my PFSense has three network adapters connected to it, external O2, GSLAN, and uh, external O3. So in settings, you can add high hardware and make sure you add, at the moment, mine are grayed, grayed out because PFSense is running, so I have to shut down if you would like to add new hardware. So as your machine is shut down and then add th all these three network adapters, okay? Once you have added all these three network adapters, install PFSense in post installation after PFSense will reboot. Uh, it will prompt you to pick WAN and LAN. So you pick WAN and LAN. Make sure you connect your LAN to internal and connect your WAN to external. All right, of course, um, LAN will have, give it an IP address as, uh, of 192.168.40.10 uh, within the IP range of internal network adapter. And with external or two, uh, give it an IP, it can pick up IP from DHCP server. All right, so after post installation, uh, you will give these um, IP addresses and you'll pick these two network adapters for your interfaces. Uh, your PFSense is going to reboot and uh, log into your PFSense via graphical user interface and then go to interfaces. Let's have a look. Okay, in PFSense, um, when you log on to your graphical user interface, at the top you can see system and next to system you see interfaces. Click on interfaces and then click on assignments. So you will have that um, LAN01 
available here to assign so pick that and uh, create that and save it and apply settings and then go back to your interfaces and select that uh, will be opt or one I think and uh, then enable that interface and um, name it give it an IP go to static IPv4 and uh, pick IP address that we have selected and you can pick your own IP address whatever the range you have selected and I have picked up 192.168.168.10.10 and IP range um, and uh, I've got this is my subnet mask that I'm using forward slash 24 and hit on save and go back to your pfSense and you have this pfSense uh, third network adapter and third network added to your pfSense okay so just to make sure when you create that LAN01 and uh, in firewall click on rules and make sure you have all the rules as same as LAN so LAN have these rules at the moment and if you click on LAN01 uh, on your end maybe you don't see any rules so you have to create these rules so I'm going to make another video so I will put the link in the description where you can go and check for how you will add these rules and uh, click on pfSense home button you see everything again so let's back to our let's go back to our figure all right so this is connected as well LAN01 and um, take your computer connect it to the switch give it an IP address within the same subnet range like I have given it 192.168.10.11 so it will get connectivity all right so this is how you build your internal network with the help of uh, pfSense all right let's have a look how every single interface how it's going to get network connectivity so the WAN interface is going to get network connectivity straight from your home router or home modem so home modem is connected connected to one of the physical interface on the server and then you have created external switch on that and external switch is connected to the WAN IP WAN interface of PSNs so it's getting IP address through DHCP server so LAN is connected getting internet through WAN so PFSense is providing internet through WAN to that LAN now let's have a look how LAN01 is getting internet LAN01 is connected to the WAN so WAN is providing internet to LAN01 LAN01 is connected to external network adapter and external network adapter is again connected to our physical uh, network adapter and physical network adapter is connected to the switch and switch is connected to this device which has got the IP address within the range of uh, the, these given IP addresses so this is how it's getting internet connectivity so this is how it can be done so thanks for watching that video I have um, I have uh, one series which is dedicated to Hyper-V how you set up uh, your PFSense on Hyper-V so please have a look at that video and if you would like to get the video demonstration of this uh, scenario please leave a comment and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos thanks for watching thank you goodbye for now